Hey guys and gals, Homestead Prepper. Some of you may remember the dump trailer project from years ago, but uh, I've got a bad uh, cylinder right there and I've got to change that out and I'm going to take you guys along with me. Alright, the first thing guys is of course safety. Um, I was able to lift this thing up and I got this piece of uh, metal right here holding it temporarily and then I was able to um, drill into the frame as you can see and put a bolt in and this is inch and a half 14 gauge steel and I've got a bolt there same thing on that side same thing right there uh, I loaded up a um, a yard of dirt the other day and uh, the dump trailer was having a little trouble lifting it and I shoveled some of it out and then you know it, it lifted it no problem and then I went back and got another load and they gave me a little extra and it was wet and it would not lift it on. I shoveled just about all of it out and it still wouldn't lift it and you can just hear that pump running and I looked at the return line and there was oil just pouring out of it so that tells me that the cylinder is bad. Now I have no idea how old this is. This thing could be 30, 40, it could be 50 years old, I don't know. But uh, what I'm going to have to do is get that cylinder out and it looks like there's a little pin or something here. I might be able just to knock that out and up here this um, see that or not this has got like a little washer and I don't know if that's going to come out and let's look on the other side here this looks like this side is going to come out and the washer has uh, disappeared somewhere so I think that's what I got to do and I've got the uh, the tool to do it right here so all right I'm gonna take you guys along there was a um, this little piece right here that was holding that on there, I just knocked it out with a screwdriver, bent it up, and started hammering that piece through there. So let's uh, see if we can hammer it out. Well, I don't believe that that was actually easy. Guys, before I pull out that piece right there, I'm going to try and knock this piece out right here too, so it doesn't fall or I have to hold it up and all that. I don't know if uh, you guys can see that, but it looks like there's a roll pin or something there. I've tried to knock that out and it doesn't want to move, so I think we're just going to grind it off. And then when I put this back together, I'll have to do something else with it. A lot easier to find this now than later on have to fabricate one. There's one pen out. Well, this presented a very unusual problem, guys. I tried to slide the, slide the pen out this way, and it wouldn't work. And it wouldn't slide out that way. It wouldn't go. It was too long. It was a quarter of an inch longer. I thought it might just get out of there. But uh, what I ended up doing was beating on that and twisting that. And then now that rod is going to come out. I thought about just leaving it in place and work on it right there. But... That, that that would be too difficult so all right well that's how it comes out I had also thought about drilling a hole right here in the frame but I didn't want to weaken it and slide that thing out so there we go there you go buddy
and there we go guys got her out let's get her cleaned up and let's see what's wrong with her let's uh let's get the oil out of it let's get it cleaned up it looks pretty nasty what i'm gonna do is just purge this thing pretty clean These bolts are really loose. All right, to get this thing out of here, there's a um, like a snap ring. I don't know if you guys can see that in there or not, but uh, that snap ring needs to come out. And there we go and if you don't pull that out you're not going to get that out without some major damage so I bet it'll slide out right now to uh, improvise a little bit. And here's our problem, okay? This thing is could be 30, 40, this thing could be 50 years old. I have no idea. So anyway guys, there we go. We just need to put some new uh, seals on there. You take this up to a hydraulic shop and they can uh, they can match it up. All right, well, let me go get some seals. And this one looks in pretty good shape, but we're going to go ahead and replace it anyway. But you can see that this has definitely seen better days. So, All right, well, it lasted quite a while. We'll give it that. If it'll last another 30 or 40 or 50 years. It'll be somebody else's problem then. All right, I'm going to put this back in here so I don't lose it. And we'll go put this someplace where... Well, I'm going to clean that out too. Get some brake clean, clean it out. All right, I got the seals on there uh, for the cylinder. That uh, is from M&W Hydraulics on Overpress Road in Tampa. Now, he told me this rod was a little messed up here and this is probably going to have premature failure but uh, he said if I just use it occasionally it'll last for a little while but uh, the right way to do it is change the rod out but I didn't want to pay the extra money for that so you can see they put uh, new seals on here and you can see they put some type of grease in there which I'm guessing that it's this stuff now I could be wrong I don't know guys I'm not advising you on how to do this but uh, I'm going to put a little bit of this red and tacky stuff here. I'm going to put some here and we're going to slide that in that cylinder and we're going to put this thing back together. So let's uh, let's get a little bit here. And like I said, you just want to put just a little bit. And if this causes this to fail, I'll, uh, I'll do an update video on it. I know some people said to use Vaseline. Some people said just used hydraulic oil, you know. So the proper way to do it, mm, I don't know. But we're just going to do it. 
even if it's wrong, we're going to do it. This little snap ring that used to go in there and that's what retains that thing. All right, while we're at it, we're going to put a little grease on this pin right here. I mean, it has a grease fitting, but it would be a lot easier to grease it now and make sure it, it gets on there. And I'm not going to grease the end that I'm hanging on to for right now. I'll grease that in a little bit. Okay, let's, uh, let's put that on there. If you remember, it's got to go in kind of strange. It won't go straight in. Okay guys, this is a real pain right here. What I did was I took this and put this on the bottom and hit it with a hammer. I didn't get that on camera, but uh, that's how I bent this out right here. We can always knock it back with the hammer. And then this is not wanting to cooperate, so a uh, little motivation can go a long way. Here we go, that's all it needed. And then we'll just tap this in. See what happened there guys we did a little too much there we go I thought this was gonna be a real problem here because as you can see it's not uh, it's lined up so I figured I was gonna have to jack the thing up but it, it moves so what we need to do is just slip that over that there we go all right guys the thing is not lining up perfectly but what you can do is take one of these little guys right here and this will uh, line it up well, there we go guys um, it wasn't exactly easy to take out and it wasn't exactly a joy to put it back in there but anyway hopefully that'll give you some ideas if you have to do this yourself a nice hammer and a couple pry bars one of those bars with an angle on it so we just need to get the welder out right now and weld those washers back on there And there we go.
I wanted to mention guys that that is a 30 year old Lincoln welder 1993 still works and it's been through I don't know how many 10 pound spools for repairs and projects but uh, we got this all welded up here and I've got it greased as you can see so all we need to do is put some oil in the reservoir right here these were the old washers right here I opted for the oil. so we'll put some oil in that and I need to take these brackets off right here that that piece right there will still hold it in case it drops Alright guys and gals, there we go. We had a successful repair. Dump trailer fixed. Okay, how much did it cost me? Alright, well, um, I took this center part out here, as you saw with the seals. I just cleaned this up myself. And I took it up to M&W Hydraulics over here in Tampa on Overpass Road, right off of 301 and he hooked me up for about a hundred bucks okay now he did say that this would cause some premature wear of the seals down here the problem I was having was the seal down here was gone that o-ring as you saw so but I don't use this commercially this is just uh, occasionally a couple times a year so that'll probably last me well uh, should last quite a while so uh, about a hundred bucks I don't know, it was $99 and something I gave the guy a hundred dollar bill but um, that's what it costs and then I had to buy these washers right here and these were like two dollars a piece from Ace True Value Hardware over in Sefner. Home Depot did not have one inch washers that I saw. So but anyway so I, guys for less than hundred and five dollars I got my dump trailer working in and it has rusted up quite a bit that uh, Osfo does not last long term so what I will be doing is I'll be putting some rust-oleum gray primer on here it it is very good at mitigating rust and I'll probably be putting some rust-oleum paint on here so but that's going to be another project I probably won't do a video on that because I mean who wants to see someone paint the underside of a dump trailer right okay well homestead prepper out